Actor Columbus Short is facing misdemeanor battery charges or spousal battery charges after his wife alleged that he was abusive toward her. She says that in one case uh, he tried to choke her while she was sleeping and she also alleged alleges that he used a wine bottle and assaulted her with a knife. Now those are accusations at this point. They have not been proven, so it's important to mention that. However, uh, D.L. Hughley wanted to comment on the story on his own radio show, and his comments toward her were vicious to say the least, and he was criticized for them. So I want to give you a sense of what he said on his show. By the way, the audio of this has been taken down, uh, and so it's nowhere to be found, but we do have the quotes. Let's read it to you. The star of one of the hottest dramas in the country chokes the fuck out of his wife? That doesn't ever happen. I don't think it happened first off, like the time Warren Sapp was getting ready to do the Super Bowl and some broad said that he raped her. There are just as many examples of women lying on men in the middle of divorce proceedings to get what they want as there are men who actually do anything. So that was the first part of it. Do you want to comment, Jake, before I continue? Yeah. So I know people are super outraged. And as we're going to tell you, he wound up apologizing, and you'll see why. Uh, and I don't. I have no idea what happened that night between, uh, you know, the uh, Columbus Short and his wife or whatever. Um, but he, I don't. I guess I'm not quite as outraged by that first part as other people are because he's saying uh, a lot of times people make up stuff about mm -hmm. rich people uh, to get paid. I'm pretty sure that's true, right? So uh, now. On the other hand, do rich people get off all the time when they shouldn't? That's also true, right? So that, that's why you can't make up your mind about that particular instance until you know all the facts. So give me more and let's see if it gets worse. He says, my point is, if he did what she's alleging he did, she could still get all that she's going to have and not bring it up now when it damages his market value that she's going to be impacted by. If he loses that job, nobody's living in Calabasas anymore. And he's referring to his part or role on Scandal, which, by the way, ABC decided not to renew his contract. Mm -hmm. Now, in that, in that case, I feel like he's contradicting himself because he's making the case that, hey, in, a, in divorce proceedings, women will lie about the abuse, especially if they're married to a wealthy person because they want to make sure that they get more of that community property. But then you immediately say, like, well, you know, she's, if she goes out and says that he's abusing her, then his market value is going to go down. She's not going to make as much money. Yeah, he, but in his mind, he's saying she's being stupid. If you're going to oh. accuse him, you should accuse him at another time because you're ruining some of the money that you're trying to mooch off of him. And we have no idea if that's the case in this no, situation. We don't. Okay. Exactly. Now, um, so the, the next part is a part that I think is needlessly vicious. So let me go ahead and read this to you. He says, I guarantee you, three years from now, she's going to be thinking, damn, I should have shut the fuck up. Women always running out the mouth when they shouldn't. This bitch was thirsty. The bitch was thirsty. What, she gone go back to dancing? She gone fuck up her money. Okay, you wrote that really well. That was very authentic I'm reading. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, don't, I don't speak that way. So like, okay. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so... Okay, now look, he shouldn't have said this stuff because he doesn't know the situation as he's about to admit later, and you have no idea. And as Anna pointed out, uh, it's, not, it's less likely that she would be making it up mm -hmm. because as he, if she was a gold digger under his hypothesis, uh, because it's not a good way to dig gold <laughs> when you get a guy kicked off of the hit series that he's on, mm -hmm. right? So that leads you to believe that perhaps it was true. Now, we don't know, right? But, but that's the one piece of evidence. Yeah, so, so le let me just quickly jump in, Jenk. We don't know, right? And I think that it's perfectly fair as a commentator or as a news reporter to say, these are the accusations. They have not been proven. He hasn't been convicted of anything. There are misdemeanor charges that need to be proven in a court of law. That's totally fine. That's the way you handle a situation like that, especially if you're skeptical of the charges that are brought against the actor. Mm -hmm. But in this case, he needlessly assumed that she's a gold digger, that she's lying, that she's making it up, and on top of it called her a thirsty bitch a few times. I, it was so unnecessary, and I don't know if he did it. I'm not going to sit here and say that he did. But as a responsible person and as a rational person, you don't automatically assume that the person who might have been abused is making it up. You know why you don't do that? Because you don't want to deter other abused women from coming forward if they are abused, because you don't want them to be put in a situation where a big public figure like D.L. Hughley is going to call them a thirsty bitch. 
Yeah, I, I love how you're giving D.L. Hughley uh, lessons in responsible journalism when he says, this bitch was thirsty. <laughs> okay, so my guess is that that wasn't really his goal there. But even if his goal is just to be, you know, rant in this mm -hmm. case, because he wasn't trying to be funny, he was serious about it, um, you got to get your information before you go on that rant. And if you really think and you've got evidence that she's a gold digger and then you want to go on this rant, I'm going to be surprisingly on your side because just because she accused him of something doesn't mean he did it Absolutely, every time, yeah. right? Now, but in this case, it doesn't look like he had his stuff straight, right? So then comes his apology. All right, so Dale Hughley did uh, respond to those that were criticizing him, and he said this. First, he started off by saying, look, if I had made these comments in a comedic context, then I would not apologize, because it's comedy, and regardless of how biting it might be, you should have uh, you know, the ability to make jokes. Um, but he says, I wasn't joking. I, I said it in seriousness. So what I will apologize for is putting my mouth on a woman who was victimized by a man who I know, and before I knew the facts, or before I knew the severity or before I knew much of anything about it. Uh, and so to Tani McCall Short, I put, I basically said that she was probably a gold digger and I had no idea of the severity of what was going on. So I don't condone violence. I've been married to a woman for 30 years and I can honestly say I've never physically abused anyone, well, men, but they deserved it. And I've never encouraged a woman to be silent deliberately about abuse. <laughs> Even that apology is like got issues with it. He's like, as far as I know, I have a kicked anybody's ass. Well, I mean, I've kicked guys' ass. I haven't been abusive to one, mainly. <laughs> okay. And, well, but he does have funny yeah. ways of saying things that I'm amused by. Uh, putting my mouth on a woman. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like that <laughs> phrase. It just doesn't sound right, but uh, that's just I me. don't think you should put your mouth on any woman that isn't your wife. <laughs> So if it came off that way, I have to apologize. I don't know that you can encourage many women to be silent about much, but I want them to be silent in general, but just not about abuse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I give, him middle, a, I, I give him a pass there. He's obviously trying to bust a joke and like be funny, right. so it's fine, whatever. In the middle of an apology about yeah. domestic abuse, I don't know that I would have gone in that direction, <laughs> but at least, you know, uh, he's ballsy in, in throwing jokes in the middle of that apology. That doesn't usually fly. Yeah, I did do a little more research into Columbus Short. I knew nothing about him, so um, there were a number of reports saying that he's had kind of a troubled past when it comes to violence issues. In 2010, he had a fight on a basketball court at a Los Angeles gym that led to a charge of battery that was resolved when he pleaded no contest to a lesser charge and was sentenced to three years of informal probation. Then in February, uh, Short was arrested twice by police after his wife called to report that he was being abusive. He has pleaded not guilty to misdemeanor spousal battery. That's the case that we're referring to earlier in the story. In March, he was charged with felony battery after allegedly knocking a man unconscious in a West Hollywood bar fight and faces uh, a May arraignment. And finally, three weeks ago, his wife accused him of threatening her with a knife during a fight, stabbing a couch as he pinned her to it, and threatening to kill her with the couple's two-year-old daughter in the house. She left, filed for divorce, and obtained a temporary restraining order. So if you look at all of those cases, there are a lot of charges, including misdemeanor and felony charges based on two separate events, but he's only, uh, he was only convicted of one situation because he pleaded guilty to a lesser charge. So now if you're in a court of law, uh, what the lawyers would say is, hey, you're supposed to judge him on the merits of this case, not mm -hmm. anything he might have done in the past. But the other prosecution could make a case for he has a pattern of doing this similar acts. And so then the judge would have to uh, rule whether that's admissible. Now, uh, in the court of public opinion, as we talk this out, you hear all that and you go, well, if you're going to pick anyone to defend on uh, domestic abuse, probably not that guy. Because even if he didn't do this, you're taking a significant chance that he might have done it. Mm -hmm. So I would have gone in a different direction. 